folks, Engineer 775 here. I am out in my power shed. I'm probably out here at least once a day, either playing around or helping people uh, work through their system. So I answer a lot of questions and sometimes it's easy to commission their system by standing in front of my systems. Um, but today I want to talk to you about uh, keeping it super simple when it comes to these lithium batteries. So I know you've seen a lot of the arc lithium batteries. This is a 200 amp hour it's a it's a heavy battery <laughs> it's like 260 pounds but it's a beast that's 10 kilowatts of lithium iron phosphate and the reason i wanted to talk to you about these today is really to share with you their um, balancing bms so there's a little bit of an animation coming up here uh, to show you how this battery balances out the cells and just basically how this battery works not all bms's are the same um, one of the things this battery we do not have at this point is closed loop communication with the inverter. Uh, 15K, I've had it hooked to the 15K for a while. I'm about to switch batteries just to play around, but this is closed loop right now with a, with a home grid battery, and everything's fine there, but I really wanted to talk to you about the ARC, and uh, you've seen them in our videos. There's no closed loop communication. Really not a need for it that we can see at all. And the BMS replacement is very easy. The entire side cover of this battery comes off easy to replace. If you've seen the other video, you can replace it in 20 minutes. So watch this balancing impactive uh, in BMS that they came up with. I think you'll, it'll help you understand what is going on internally with the battery. Okay, so pretty straightforward, a little simple animation showing you how the battery cells are balanced out. And again, keeping um, simple. I know some of our systems look really complicated, but we're, things are getting simpler. The installation, for instance, with this 15K and a decent sized lithium battery bank, um, you're not having to do a critical loads panel. Uh, the electrical is easier. Tremendous capabilities with the 200 amp pass through and then just having enough storage and if you're working behind the meter and can't export, there's no net metering program where you live, or you're, even if you're off-grid, these batteries have been fantastic. Um, I'm also very thankful to work directly with Arc Lithium. We are a distributor for these batteries in the southeast. We're a distributor. We can get these batteries for you and get them anywhere to you in the United States. If you're overseas, but you can come up with a shipping port address, say in Florida, if you're going to the islands we can get the batteries to you that way as well but these have been great the other thing is i can call up james um, the owner of the company and get a hold of him and we talk often once a week easily and uh, so if there's ever an issue we've had a couple issues maybe with a screen not working never had an issue with a breaker um, they have these super heavy duty interconnect bus bars that are great to connect battery to battery it's just worked fantastic. I love having the breaker, circuit breaker really handy. The screen tells you whether or not you're charging or discharging and how long in either direction you're going, how long that's going to take. So it's very, very simple. So we like the KISS principle as much as we can. I know some of the stuff we, we do complicate things and trying to give people every possible option known to man, and that can get complicated. But when it just comes to battery connected to an inverter like the Solar. This is so super simple and we want to keep it that way. So if you uh, have any questions about it, let me know. Be happy to get you these ARC batteries.